Setting up your podcast has never been easier than using seriously simple podcasting on your WordPress site. Once you have the plugin installed, we can go ahead and publish our first episode. Seriously Simple Podcasting creates the podcast area in your WordPress dashboard, and from there, we can go to Add New Episode. Let's give our episode a title and a description. This is commonly referred to as the show notes in a podcast. Once we're finished with that, let's paste in the media file URL for the episode. You can either upload this from the media area of your WordPress site or explore our Castos integration for dedicated podcast hosting. We'll check that out later. Now that you have a media file, you have the description or the show notes and the title, you can go ahead and publish this episode. And on the front end of your site, you have a beautifully customizable media player that comes bundled with Sirius Assemble Podcasting. You have customizable subscribe buttons down here so you can help your listeners subscribe to your podcast and get every episode automatically. They can play the episode in a new window or download the file if they want to listen to it later on. Now let's go set up our RSS feed and learn about creating multiple podcasts all within the same WordPress site. Back in the WordPress dashboard, we'll go to Settings to configure our RSS feed. In the Feed Details area, we've already set this one up, but we'll give a quick overview of the settings here and how to set this up on your site. So you want to give your podcast a title. This is the, the main title of the, the show as a whole, a subtitle, and an author. This is typically your name or your and your co-host name. You want to give your podcast several different categories here to, so that your show appears in directories like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and Google Podcasts, and a brief description about what your show is all about. Upload your podcast cover image. This is a 1400 by 1400 pixel square image. And a couple of other details here. And then save your settings. This area down here at the bottom is for those customizable subscribe buttons and you can enter in the values of your show on places like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, and any other place you want your listeners to be able to subscribe to your podcast. Back in the main settings area, let's take a look at a couple of the options that you have with Seriously Simple Podcasting. First, Seriously Simple Podcasting lets you post your podcast anywhere on your WordPress site that you'd like. Uh, we create this podcast area by default, but you can also publish your episodes as regular posts. Or if you have a, another custom post type, like say you're at church and you have a post type of sermons, you can post your episodes there as well. You can configure where and how you want the media player to be displayed. So on full content of each episode like we have, or on the excerpt. So if you have a podcast episode list, the podcast player would show up on that as well. Um, by default, we have this to show above the content or below, and we have a short code where you can display the player within the body of the episode as well. And we give you the option to view the, the feature-rich HTML5 player like we saw before, or a smaller compact player if you would like. The player is customizable with the background color, the player progress bar, and the player uh, progress indicator all customizable to match the, the look and feel and design of your site. I mentioned before that you can create multiple podcasts on a single WordPress site using Series Assemble Podcasting, and we do that through the use of series. So series can be thought of as an individual podcast, each with its own taxonomy and its own RSS feed. So let's give our new podcast a name. Great, and we can see that the new show has been added here, and it has its own feed URL here. So let's go back to the settings area and make sure that the feed details are updated like we want them to be. We can see the new feed here for the series or the new podcast we just created. And this inherits a lot of the, the feed contents from your main podcast feed. But if you want to, you can, uh, you can adjust any of these to, to fit the branding and the feel and the, the contents of your new series. Once you're done here, just update this and your new feed is ready to check out. And let's view the default feed since we have some episodes here. And we see the description, the title, the description, the image, and the episodes that are contained within this podcast. And this feed URL is the, the thing, the link that you will send to places like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, 
uh, and Spotify to have your show listed in those podcasting directories. So this is a really important thing. We have a lot of documentation about how to set this up and ensure that your feed here is valid uh, so that you can uh, get started successfully with your show. So Seriously Simple Podcasting is maintained by the team at Castos, and you can connect your Castos hosting account to your WordPress site in Seriously Simple Podcasting, and you do this in the hosting area here. Once you've connected your uh, your email address and your API token from Castos, then all of the podcast episodes that you upload from your WordPress site go directly to the Castos platform. So you're able to manage your podcast episodes in WordPress, but your files are hosted on a dedicated media platform that's designed specifically for podcasting. So it doesn't overburden your WordPress server, slow down your site, uh, and provide a, a poor listening experience for your podcast listeners. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Validate those credentials. And once you're done, go ahead and hit save to save those settings. Great. Now we'll create one more podcast episode to show you what uploading a file to Castos looks like from your WordPress site. So again, we'll go to add new podcast episode. Give it a quick description here. And we'll upload our file. And we can see the progress bar at the top here letting us know that this file is being uploaded to Castos directly. And once this is done processing, we'll see that it has this castos.com media file URL here. This is letting us know that this episode is hosted on Castos, but again, we never had to leave our WordPress site to, to get this uploaded and to publish. So we'll go ahead and publish this now, take a look at it on the front end. And great, looks just like the first episode we published, but in this case, the media file for this episode is hosted on the Castos platform and not on our WordPress site server. And that's all it takes to set up your WordPress site for podcasting with Seriously Simple Podcasting. If you have any questions, just shoot us a message, hello at castos.com. Thanks so much.